What's up you guys? I am on the Las Vegas trip. I'm actually on a uh, parking garage rooftop. Don't worry you guys, I'm safe out here. Um, cops have been swarming. There are hundreds of cops out here. I know you guys are probably watching the news and have more information than we do, but real quick, I just want to give you guys an update. Uh, Grant Cardone's private mastermind that was afterwards, I was supposed to be there with them. A bunch of us were supposed to be there. We decided not to go. Um, and the mastermind is, uh, all of them kind of got locked down. I don't know, I'm trying to communicate with them. SWAT team locked them down. They're there in the room, they're safe. The uh, people are on the, the floor. They're having them lie down on the floor right now. Um, we're at the hotel just next door. I'm on the parking garage roof, if you guys want wondering. I'm safe right now, don't worry about that. But literally in the background, um, the Las Vegas Strip, hundreds and hundreds of cop cars. The Mandalay Bay was where Grant Cardone's uh, mastermind was. He was talking about the real estate investment deals and stuff like that. They were all downstairs in the Mandalay Bay gambling. And we had another group of us uh, that went to the concert. There was a country concert right next door. So I've been in text communication with them. Uh, we are right next door at the hotel next door to that. So I know you guys probably have more information than us because you guys are probably watching the news. But um, Grant Cardone, Cole Hatter, Kevin Harrington from Shark Tank, all that whole crew, they are right now, I've been communicating with them, they are in lockdown by SWAT team inside of uh, Mandalay Bay, then you have uh, a whole other group of people that went to the country concert, I think it was a Jason Aldean concert that was right there, they were all fleeing, they were all flooding out of there, hundreds and hundreds of cops have been here, I had no signal, I would have gone live earlier, they have no signal or they would be posting more. Um, we're at the hotel next door. We got a couple of us here and I'm on the rooftop of the parking garage You guys don't worry about me. I'm safe. We're all good over here. You guys thrive event um, I would show you some more, but it's a little bit hard. I'll try real quick. It's a little bit hard You guys can't really see I don't really have a way to zoom in that well But this is right here where all the cops are hundreds and hundreds of cops just hard for you to see right here uh, Mandalay Bay also the Luxor like I said you guys probably have a little bit better information than we do right now but um and you guys can probably feed me some information in the comments if you guys want to. If anything, if anybody knows any, anything, go ahead and feed me some comments right there. So as you guys can see, I'm staying a safe distance away. See what I'm saying? I'm up on a rooftop right here, and uh, we're out here. Okay, let's see. Hold on. See, I get a little light. So listen, you guys, feel free to feed me information. I am in contact with the group. SWAT team has them um, locked up in a room right now. They're not letting them out because they said that they weren't sure if there was multiple shooters or what was going on. Um, I do know that people at the country concert, we talked to a couple people at the country concert, and um, it was a little bit crazy. They were saying that shooters were shooting. They thought that it was like the people that were in the front row at the Big and Rich and Jason Aldean concert. Jason Aldean was coming out for his final performance, and they were telling us that like they thought it was like pops going off. It was like pop, 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 and they didn't. They thought it was like those little like pop flares that you do, and um, they said no, no, no. Those are like gunshot fragments. And then what happened was people were just hitting the deck. So they went down like army crawl. They were hitting the deck, full-blown army crawl, you guys, crawling all around. And then they saw that it was legit gunshots, meaning the people were shot. Um, it's going to be a little bit scary to find out how many people were actually shot in this incident. I don't even think we're going to know till tomorrow. But from the people that were there at the country concert, they were saying... What, what happened was the guy that we got information from, he basically turned around, he went from his back on army crawl, he turned around so he was on his, on his back, laying up, looking up at the hotel, and um, he said that they were looking to try to find where the shooters were at, so they could try to find out where to hide and what to do. And so they were basically down there doing that. So it was a little bit crazy. Um, they weren't even entirely sure. They said that also that the, the, the gunshots were so loud that it was like people in the hotel rooms high, like maybe 12, 14, 15 floors up could hear the gunshots. And so they thought that the gunshots were up there. Like I said, you guys probably have a lot more information coming from the news. I'm just giving you information from people here that we got it from firsthand. Uh, just from people firsthand at Mandalay Bay, people firsthand that were at the concert. And then, of course, I've got a lot of our entrepreneur crew, uh, Grant Cardone, Kevin Harrington, uh, Cole Hatter, the whole, a whole bunch of us. All of us were going to go over to the Mandalay Bay. A few of us decided to stay behind and stay at Hard Rock Hotel. I'm one of the ones that decided to stay behind, which is why I'm able to vlog for you guys from, or from right now, go live, because I chose to stay behind on this one. But um, if you guys are watching the news right now, it's a little bit crazy. I do have texts flying in, you guys, that are asking if we're okay. Yes, we're okay. And... Um, uh, I wanted to, so I don't know, are you are you down to share the information that, that you got? Do you want to jump on and share? Okay, uh, Danny got some information here. I'm with her. She's holding the light right now. She just got some information. I asked if she would be willing to share. So I'm going to turn over to her. She got some information, like, direct from a couple sources of what was happening right there in the front. Here, I'll hold the light on you if you're down to share. Yeah. Oh, gosh, this is crazy, guys. 
So um, I, I'm from Vegas and I have a lot of friends who live here and some of my friends <laughs> some of my friends were at the country concert. They said that they heard the gunshots. Um, somebody thought that my girlfriend thought they were pellets and her husband said, no, this is real guns. And they started to army crawl about 100 feet. They were army crawling and she started to get shrapnel or something hitting her. And they said they saw blood from other people. So they were able to get, ah, there we go. Um, they were trying to get away. They heard it was real gunshots and they saw, uh, they saw people bleeding and they said that they are actually scared of what the news is going to say. They thought there were going to be possibly hundreds of people. So I hope that's not the case. Um, but they were thinking the shooters were coming up from like 14 feet, uh, 14 floors up, like 13, 14 floors up. Um, and tell them what they were saying about how they heard it and then the army crawls. So oh like, yeah. So, I mean, they were saying basically it was sounds like, like just straight automatic weapon, just rapid fire for 10 straight minutes. So it was like constant shooting for 10 straight minutes, like automatic. I, I can't even imagine. I can't imagine. So I know we were supposed to be there and it's kind of freaking me out. I know that we would have probably been safe with the crew because we were would have been downstairs, but there were a lot of no, people at the show. Maybe they went inside the hotel. Oh, we weren't even sure yeah. So yeah, we weren't sure that there were people shooting outside and then they were afraid somebody was going inside shooting. I know one person we heard on the news that maybe one person was found, but from the people who were there, uh, they were lucky enough to like crawl away and get to the car and take off. So it's been really insane. What's the issue here? So there was a, a shooting. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, sorry you guys. So let me turn this through. All right, so you guys can, I mean, I don't, I, it's hard. I We're a safe enough distance away where you guys can't really see what's going on right now. And we don't really have that great of a signal right now, but we wanted to show you guys, all of our friends are right here. I'm zoomed into where all of our friends are right now. They're inside a room, I don't, like one of those rooms right there. They're inside, they're on lockdown from SWAT team right now. They're not letting them out. We decided to um, we decided to stay a distance away right now, you guys. So, so let me kind of go back to this. And the reason I had um, the reason I had Danny come out and share was that Danny talked um, Danny talked to a couple of people that were there at the country got, got information from people that were there at the country concert. And the deal was is that they basically said from this is from people that were firsthand there. They said it was like like automatic shooting weapons and they got down in an army crawl and they said it was just going on for like I don't I don't know if they're exaggerating or not but they said it was going on for like minutes um, crazy right I know it doesn't even sound real it sounds crazy and they said that they're literally like scared to see what may have actually happened like right now the news isn't reporting any figures or anything maybe they are now but they weren't earlier and so it's gonna be kind of it's gonna be a situation where this might be a little bit bigger then people actually think that it is you guys and hey what happened hold on we just heard a bunch of noise out there hold on just in case let me turn around we just heard a bunch of noises out here right now a bunch of big thumps i don't know what those were i hope there's like not any bombs or anything like that we just heard a bunch of big thumping a lot of thumping like big loud thumps out there i just hope it's not anything worse than it is um crazy Henry Lee says, I just left, said bye to Cole. All the Thrive crew is apparently there. Apparently the Mandalay Bay has been cleared to evacuate. Evacuate, You guys, um, if you want to, like, we'll, we'll keep you guys updated. Right now I've got my other phone on me, so we're able to see what's happening. We've got a bunch of people. They're trying to evacuate the Mandalay Bay because there might be, there's like a threat of bombs. And I'm not sure where that threat comes from and what they're just trying to do. They have SWAT team over there with a bunch of people. We've got people right here in the comments. If you guys... For those of you that were in the comments, let us know, for those of you that just left Mandalay Bay, if you're part of our crew, if you're part of our party for Thrive Event, let us know. But right now I'm showing you guys where that is. Okay, so let me kind of come back and show you. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it like this. I'll leave it in the background like this, just in case those, those sounds go off again. But there was like these big, right a second ago, there was these big thumping kind of sounds. We, I'm this far away, you guys. So I'm like literally pretty far away and we heard them from here. And those are loud, like thumping sounds. So I'm not even entirely sure what that is. We're here for this Thrive event. It was an amazing event. I just spoke today on stage with Grant Cardone, Elena Cardone, Cole Hatter, and all those people. And then they all went over to a like a follow-up VIP party. I was gonna go, but I decided to stay back. I grabbed Danny, who also was talking to somebody, got, got firsthand information. We came out here to the uh, the parking garage, parking garage rooftop of the neighboring hotel over here, just so we could get like some perspective and a safe place. And, um, and I'm telling you guys, like, literally, like, right now, right here in the background, we just heard some noises. 
I'm going to stay up here. If you guys are worried about me, don't be worried. We're safe up here. It's we're, we're like, literally, look, I'm like, we're staying in like a corner over here. We're safe. Don't even worry about us for all you guys that are worried. Um, okay. David Bell is saying Grant Cardone says he was moved to an underground room. John is saying Grant is in, is underground in a building. Yeah. What happened was that Cole, I was talking with Cole and Cole is saying they have us ducking. They've got us on the ground. SWAT team is here. They're going to relocate us. I've got some people that are in there filming right now, but they're saying that it's like a little bit sketchy of a situation. So I don't know how long they're going to be filming. They're trying to keep people updated. Um, and I know that there's other groups of people that are here, you guys. I know that literally, what are those sounds? What are those popping sounds we keep hearing? I'm not entirely sure what these big popping sounds are that are off in the distance. So we're going to kind of have to feel that out and kind of see what's going on. Other people are cruising out to the rooftop here. So hold on, let me give you guys a... Hold on. Okay, so as you guys can see, this side of the strip right here and this right here where the Luxor is. See where the Luxor is right there? Right, right below the moon. This right here is the area that's on lockdown. You got Grant Cardone and everybody's in that building right there on the ground. They're on that building. Um, they moved them down to a basement floor. And they're, yeah, tear gas. It might be tear gas. I don't even know entirely what it is. This this room right here, they're also messing this. So this country concert that was right there, it was the country festival. It was Jason Aldean and Big and Rich and stuff like that. We have some of our crew over there at that country concert right there as well. So that's where the, all the action was. They were fleeing from that. And they asked me if I was safe because they knew that I was supposed to be there. And I actually literally just um, got out of there. We didn't, we didn't ever went. Sorry, didn't get out of there. We never even went. We just decided not to go. Okay, so we have friends that are over here in the Luxor. That building right there is on lockdown and they're looking to evacuate the building. This building here is on lockdown and they're looking to evacuate the building. This building here is on lockdown. So we've got kind of this bird's eye view of stuff going on. You guys, um, I'll stay on live as long as I can, just in case anything happens. Um, in case we get any more information, feel free to keep us posted. We've got like a nice bird's eye view from where we are, but we want to stay safe. So as you can see, we're way over here just in case we want to stay out of arm's reach and want to stay safe. There's a bunch of other people up here on the rooftop too. And over here, you've got this, this part of the strip is okay, but that part of the strip is shut down over there. And it's hard for me to see all these lights, but all those flashing lights out there, there's just cops. There's just hundreds of cop cars, you guys, literally just hundreds of them all over. It's just hard for me to show you. I mean, I don't know how to zoom in much closer to actually show you, but there's just hundreds of cops everywhere, you guys. It's pretty intense out there. Filming in, for those of you guys that are here, let's stop the light here. For those of you guys that are here, I'm gonna hold light there. For those of you guys that are watching the news right now, fill us in. Um, where, what, what are you seeing? If those, if any of you guys came from the Cole Hatter and Grant Cardone and everything mastermind, let us know uh, what they're saying because when we're talking with Cole and then we told them to film, we told them to go social media, we told them to give us updates to make sure everybody knows that they're safe um, and they're feeding us updates. News, news is saying there's something at the Luxor. Grant and Thrive attends, attendees and Cole Hatter, everyone is on master floor, locked down and they are okay. Um, you guys, I know that they've reported that some people are dead and I don't want to, I don't want to like stretch this into any fake news or anything like that, but we call, we got on the phone with people that were at the country concert and I don't want to scare you guys, but they said that it sounded like this for like minutes, you guys. So I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. I don't know what the, um, I don't know what the news is saying so far, but I'm telling you guys, um, it, there's a chance that it's much worse than what the news is saying because literally they said that like people were, people were like, people were just trying to flee and trying to do army crawls and people were seeing people get shot. So when they said that people are injured and stuff like that, a lot of people got shot, you guys, like a lot. It wasn't like a couple of people, you guys. And the, and the results might be, there's a lot of people that are thinking that the results might be a lot worse than this. I'm in town for another day. Hold on, let me see. Sirens. Yeah, there's just, we're trying to see because all these cars are just flooding over there right now. And they're just so many cop cars. It's hard for me to zoom in on Facebook Live to be able to show you guys everything that's going on. But we have this distance right here. And what's happening is that they're putting them down there because they're saying that it's, um, they're literally saying that it was automatic weapons and bomb threats. And they're also saying it might've been more than a single shooter. It might've been multiple shooters. So they're not letting them leave right there. We were, okay, so for those of you guys that are just tuning in, we were supposed to be at 
the Grant Cardone VIP party. And just minutes before this happened, Grant Cardone and them, they were down, they had their, their real estate investment meeting, Kevin Harrington, Cole Hatter, all those people there. And then they went and gambled, they were gambling over there. And then they went, and then they all got put into a private room, they all got put on lockdown. And then they had to go down to the basement and get put in like an underground room. I don't know if they're evacuating them or not. And it was definitely the, the people that were there at the country concert are telling us that it was automatic weapons. Um, and I'm telling you guys right now, the news might be saying there's only a couple people dead, but from firsthand uh, results that we're getting, um, from firsthand people that are telling us right now, it does not sound good, you guys. It sounds like from the results that we're hearing from people that are there, they were saying it was like, uh, like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people at this country concert. Right at the, we got we got information from the people that were right at the front of the stage, and it said they said it sounded like caps were going off, like like almost like bottle rocket type caps or the little snap caps. They said the caps were going off, and the next thing you know, they said uh, the the girl's like boyfriend or whatever it is or husband or whatever it was says no, those are gunshots. And what they did was they hit the they hit the deck in army crawl, and then they started army crawling around the side of the stage, and they said it sounded like this. For like minutes straight and I don't know if they're exaggerating because you know when you're in that moment who knows but they said it was crazy and they said it was all around them and they were and the guy's girl like got hit with like uh, like shrapnel or whatever like the after uh, shots are from the bullets and so that's when they knew that it was like crazy serious there was another person that was there was on security that like got they got uh, they got hit uh, and so they like had to go to the hospital there was all kinds of craziness and you guys I don't want to sound crazy but it literally sounds like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people got shot at with automatic weapons into a crowd. The guy also said, and I don't know how it, this information is, but the guy also said that from what it sounded like is that the people went in through the Mandalay Bay open area and then went up to the room and that it, they might have been shooting along the way. So I don't know how crazy this is. It's so crazy that SWAT came in, fleet, uh, like basically put the entire place on lockdown. The whole crew that we're with, at the very least, they are all, um, the crew that we're with is literally, has all been relocated down to the, like an underground floor at the Mandalay Bay. We've been checking in with them. The, as far as we know, they're safe. I've got more people that were at the country concert that are telling me that they were safe, but they said that a lot of people got hurt there and they don't know how crazy it is, but, and I don't want to scare anybody. They, they were saying that easily that there could be like more than a hundred people that died in this you guys like from what they saw from the gunshots from people that were wounded from people that were hit from people that were fleeing from the amount of blood that was there it just sounds epic it just sounds crazy and like i said we're over here on a rooftop we're just we're just checking in with people that are in the event people that were at the concert people at the Mandalay bay so we don't have you guys might have more information from the local news or even from your news uh station um but it's but it's pretty crazy, okay? It's literally pretty crazy. Um, what I'm doing is I'm gonna stay up here for a little while longer, as long as I have a signal. I'll continue to do this because we were hearing these like big, these like I don't want to say blasts, but these like weird, loud banging sounds just a few minutes ago. And so and there's just cops, more cops flooding over this way now. They're trying to close down another side of the street over here. So. We were hearing like these loud banging sounds and we're sitting out going, we better go live because I don't know, I don't want to get anybody scared and no way am I trying to do fake news, but there's, there was, we heard firsthand that the police were saying they're at the Mandalay Bay, they had to put people down because of bomb threats, they had to put people down because they had to um, bring people down uh, and start evacuating these hotels because there might be another shooter. And of course, look, the, the police and the local hotels are going to go into safety mode. They're absolutely going to do, even if there is no, no, um, nothing else happening, they're going to go into the mode of protecting civilians as much as they can. So what I'm going to do is I'll go, I'll show you guys this trip again. And, um, literally just to kind of piece it together, this, this area right here, so you got like, they're starting to close down like this, this side of the strip over here. Um, you can't see those cops that are there, but they're starting to close down this side of the strip over there. So I don't know why that's like a totally opposite side of the strip over there. And then they also got down here. We are just seeing, you notice the traffic. Look, look, where's the cars? Look at this. Where's the cars, you guys? Like no cars anywhere. Okay. So they're like literally, they're just literally halting all traffic. We're on a major strip right here. Okay. So they're literally like shutting down the strip. They're barely letting any cars through right now. And it's hard for me to show you guys on, on Facebook live. It's hard for me to like find the right angle to show you, but all of those lights out there are cop cars everywhere. Just hundreds of them. And I know with my pixelated view on my iPhone, it's not going to be a bunch, 
Okay, so here's the breakdown. That hotel right there, they moved our crew. Um, Cole Hatter, Kevin Harrington from Shark Tank, Grant Cardone, a bunch of a bunch of our own team over there, and it's crazy. Um, if you guys have any footage, tell me if you want me to film anything from up here. If you guys have any, if you guys have anything that the news is saying, let us know. Um, I know. You guys, we can hear sirens from all four corners from where we are right now, literally. And it's been going on like this for like what feels like an hour. Sirens just coming down the street oh yeah down there okay so let's just go back here for a second we heard we heard like popping sounds over there we heard popping sounds like I'm not sure where over there right like right around there on the left side there's so ambulance right here. yeah I know what is why is the ambulance even coming here why is the street like so closed down there's no cars yeah, the street is dead. and I don't know why this ambulance can be here Are they closing it off? What are they doing? And this is like blocks away. They're literally like, they're literally coming. There's just cops and ambulances everywhere. Oh no, they're coming here. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. Why that ambulance? I don't, I don't know why the ambulance is coming here. So listen, I don't think that's a major deal, but there's, I don't know why an ambulance is coming here. Or why are all those cops over there driving this way too? I'm not sure, but I'm just gonna stay up here on the roof, you guys. I don't wanna, I'm not, I don't get sketched out easily, but it's weird that the cops are driving over this direction now. And it's weird that the ambulance is coming there. There's like literally like all of those cops are coming down. They're blocking down that intersection now. So we're gonna stay up here on the rooftop of the parking lot where it's a lot safer. You just see all these hotel rooms, like pretty much all the hotel rooms have all their windows open. Everybody's just watching outside. You can see groups of people because you can see everything right here from this hotel. And if, if this, if more stuff happens here at this hotel, we'll let you guys know. But right now we're basically, we're just out here, um, just trying to be able to give you guys some up-to-date information. Jenna Coverton is saying they've got confirmed 20 is dead. Jamie's saying the whole strip is shut down. I live on the strip. Um, give me some more information, you guys. Um, people are saying it's not safe up here. I, you know, look, it's pretty safe up here. Look show you guys I'm in like I'm in like this abandoned parking garage up here we came all the way up here to this abandoned parking garage and what where am I gonna be up at, up in my room you know it's not any safer in the room and right here look at how far away I am you guys I'm safe I'm literally just right here I'm safe I've got a good nice little distance people are people are definitely tripping everybody's tripping right now the whole strip is on like a little bit of a lockdown I just wanted to kind of give you guys a different perspective than the news is giving I wanted to give you, um, I wanted to give you a like, so, okay, so listen, for those of you guys that are just jumping on right now, here's what happened. I, 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 we were supposed to go to the Grant Cardone private mastermind. So I spoke at Thrive Conference today. After Thrive Conference, Grant Cardone, Elena Cardone, Cole Hatter, myself, a bunch of us spoke today. After the event, we went and had steak dinner. After that, the crew headed over to Mandalay Bay. We were going to meet up with them. And we just decided to stay back because I've just had a long day, barely any sleep. So a few of us decided to stay back. We didn't go. I know you were RSVP'd to go as well. I'm with um, Danny J right now. She was RSVP'd to go. We came out here to the rooftop to try to get a better perspective. I've been communicating with Cole Hatter. We've been in touch with Grant Cardone. We've been, I have some of my own, um, some of our own close people that are there right now in the underground at Mandalay Bay. The um, SWAT team moved them to the underground. So they moved them to like a location. They had them all locked up uh, in a room. They wouldn't let them out of the room. Then they brought them to an underground location. So we've been checking in with them and they are safe. The people that are part of the Thrive Mastermind that are in there were safe. I was supposed to be there. We were, they were down there gambling and then they went to their private room and then they all got locked in the room. Uh, you guys might remember Kevin Harrington from like Shark Tank, Grant Cardone, Cole Hatter who put on Thrive Event. They're all there. We've been getting constant updates from them to make sure they're okay. And then on top of that, what happened was uh, Danny J got on the phone um, with her ex and got information like straight from a source of people that were at the concert, you guys. And here's the information we got was that people that were in the front row of this country concert, Jason Aldean was going to come out for the final performance and they were on the front row, like sitting there dancing and they heard this popping sound all around them. And this girl, this we got information straight from the source. This girl said, man, this sounds like popping. And I recorded the phone call. I'll try to put it on my vlog or something tomorrow if I can. But she said, man, it sounds like popping. It sounds like popping. 
and then her husband or boyfriend or whoever it was is like, that's not popping, that's gunshots. And then they got down in like an army crawl. They got down on the ground, you guys. They started doing an army crawl around the stage. It was crazy. They started literally like uh, going all the way around the stage. They said it sounded like this, Brrr, like that, like a, like an automatic weapon, like a, like a machine gun, you guys. That's how crazy it sounded. They said that they were looking around and there was blood, there was people, and she, they said that the girl that they were with got hit with like shrapnel or whatever it was. Yeah, Danny, Danny got it exactly from the source. Got hit with like shrapnel, and then suddenly they started freaking out, and they were like literally, um, they were like literally trying. It was right back here, you guys, literally just right here. And then what happened was um, they all started fleeing. They all started running, but they said that it went on for minutes. It literally went on for minutes. And so they didn't know where to go and they couldn't figure out. So the guy that was there, instead of being army crawl, he turns over and this is from the source that we just got. He turns over on his back and tries looking to see where it was coming from. He said it felt like it was coming from up above, not from all around. And he said literally, and then when they checked the news later, they said that like there were probably was like a shooter on like one of the top floors shooting out of a window and they literally said as scary as it might sound they said that when reports come in tomorrow they said that literally it could be as many as hundreds of people dead because they said like gunshots were just blasted all over the place they literally said there was nowhere to go they said people were running this way people were running that way nobody knew which way to run this concert was packed jason aldean is a major country singer this concert was packed jamie who was at the concert um she was telling us to make sure everybody gets safe all the people so they were, were people are checking in they're flooding me right now because they know that we're all supposed to be there but to let you guys know for whatever reason a few of us decided to stay back and we didn't go to that i don't know why we didn't go something called us to stay i'm not entirely sure how that worked but sometimes things happen for a reason and um and here's the thing i'll stay on as long as i can you guys i'm not gonna like stay on all night or anything but the reason i'm staying on right now is because right back here we were hearing big loud popping sounds and i don't know but the news see we're out here so we're not watching the news but um from the people that were in the underground at uh, at the Mandalay Bay, they were saying that the that the um, that the SWAT team was saying that there's bomb threats, and so literally we started hearing that. We weren't sure if that was tear gas. We're not sure if that's the cops trying to keep um, you know citizens out of the way or whatever it was. But literally all over there by the Mandalay Bay, we heard these loud popping sounds. That was after the gunshots, and so we wanted to come up here and just stay up here until the battery dies or something like that, just to be able to bring you guys some information. So here's all the. I'll turn it back over to the strip real quick. I'm gonna give you a hand with the light. And then right here, so underneath the moon right there, so right here in the Luxor, they locked down this hotel. Okay, that hotel, the Luxor's on lockdown. This unit right there of the, of uh, the like next to the Hooters building, that's on lockdown. This right here is where our whole crew was. Right here, they are on, um, they brought, the SWAT team brought them down to an underground spot from the room that they were in. And um, we asked them to check in with us. They said they're safe, but that they're being relocated. They said that they do have a fear of a bomb threat. And that was the only, that was the only information we got. Um, we're, what we're doing is, I, I'm staying, look, you guys, I'm safe. Look where I am. I'm, I'm in this like little guarded area right here. Look, there's nobody out here. You guys see this? There's like nobody out here. I went up to a safe parking garage, you guys, way up here to be able to get a bird's eye view. I'm at a safe distance. I'm behind this barrier right here. I'm up here with, um, I've got Danny J holding the light for me. So we're so checking out the, the Thrive app. Yeah. They said there was a live stream from Grant's Twitter. Here, let's, let's, let's see if we can show it. Yeah. Let's see. This is, the, this is the Thrive app right here. We saw a live stream from Grant Cardone's Twitter. He was safe in the Mandalay Bay basement with his wife and many others. Grant said it started where they were there where, where they were and they left only seven minutes before it started wishing we could do more praying for safety last we heard in the same live stream Cole and Ryan were together in a separate area and we're safe so this is part of the Thrive app this is our team then, we have an app um, that's that's watching all of this so CFO of the Hatter group they're they're getting us checked in they're still locked down over there so as you can see right here um, as you can see right here we've got um, we saw a live stream from Grant Cardone's Twitter, Save the Mandalay Bay. So we're getting updated here by the Thrive app, and everybody's still there. Now, it's crazy because we just decided the last minute not to go, and um, and literally there, nobody knows what it, nobody knows what it is. Um, and the thing is, is that the, the, the cops have the situation under control. The only, really like, the, the main reason, here, let me see the light again, real quick, okay. I'll just, I'll talk. The main, the main reason that, um, that we're still out here is that we started hearing these like loud popping sounds. 
And I wasn't the only one that heard them. Right, Dan, you heard you, you heard yeah, the same thing. Totally. And I don't know what that was. And so I'm gonna stay out here just a little bit longer because um, these like loud popping sounds, I wanna, if it happens again, I wanna watch this replay and see if you guys can hear it. Cause I mean, we're far enough away, but it sounded like a deep thumping sound, almost like, um, ah, like a, almost like a deep bass sound. And there was like three or four of them over there. And then suddenly more cops started showing up over there. So I don't know what the news is gonna say about that. And uh, you guys, fill me in real quick. Let me read the comments real quick. So we're up here. Let me read the comments. Um, we've got a nice angle, a nice perspective right here in the background. Tell me what you guys are hearing. Elena just texted me, they are okay. SWAT and other, other cops are helping people move now. It's still very controlled. The airport is closed and the flights are diverted. Um, yes, we are okay up here. Um, I'm spo I was supposed to have a flight out. Obviously, I'm not gonna take the flight out until I figure out what's going on, you guys. But checking Twitter. Yeah. You know what I what I would what I would love to do is see how I can help, but obviously look, the cops don't want anybody going out there. I wanted to cruise I wanted to cruise over there and film, but uh, my my film team told me that I'm crazy. I do daily vlogging. They're like, "No, no, 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 no." They gave me a hard time and said that I should not go. Um, airports on lockdown. CNN's reporting shootings. Um, no no flights. Uh, dad Alec, your dad and stepmom were at the concert and they're on lockdown at the casino. Alec, hopefully they're hopefully every, everybody's safe over there. Um, let's Twitter. let's see the scene outside. Hold on, here we go. This is on Twitter, Fox Five News, local Vegas news. That's the scene outside UMC, which is like the major hospital um, for Las Vegas. That's insane. Okay, so is the bomb threat true? So here's the information we got was that the SWAT team was putting everybody to an underground location there at the uh, Mandalay Bay just in case. I don't know where the bomb threat came from. Um, I don't know what's going on. Let's see, everybody's telling me don't even go. Um, so all I know is this, look, we talked to some people that were there at the country concert and they were basically saying that there's like no way only a couple people are dead. And I'm not trying to be the bearer of bad news, you guys, but they were just saying, they were saying that it was insane. They were saying that they like, cause we were trying to find out cause the news, the news is always late to report. And they were basically saying like, they were just saying it, like, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but they were saying it's, it looked like hundreds of people. So they were saying there's blood everywhere. People were fleeing that it looked like hundreds of people. And I don't know how many shots they're saying. Um, there's, there's a bunch of footage. Hold on. Oh, go back to the sound real quick. This is it's exactly how they described okay, it. Go back to the sound. This is how her friends. So Danny, Danny's here. Jen Jay's here. Her friends. So I don't know if you guys can hear that. So, literally, um, Danielle Ford, you were Danielle. You just you just left like literally right before that happened, right? So you were over here, um, and then you went home straight from there. So the people that were there here, can you know, The people that were there, you guys, the people, the people that were literally um, right there in the background. The people, so right underneath where the moon is, right there, the Mandalay Bay. The people that we talked to that were there said it sounded like for. They said that, and this might just be in the spur of the moment. They said it sounded like it was going on for minutes. And then, um, and they said that they said that literally they're, they're not like breaking the news and I'm not trying to break the news, but they said it sounded like as many as like hundreds of people over a hundred people could be dead. They said it was insane. Now the news isn't going to report until like they get confirmed deaths at the hospital. Right. And, but the people that were there at the concert said there was blood everywhere, people everywhere. People weren't sure where to run. It was crazy. They said that they were trying to run left. They were trying to run right. We, we talked to people that were, um, the information, the source we got were people that were the front row at the concert. Um, I did record the phone call. I don't know how I'm able to play that for you guys, but they were at like the front row of the concert. And they were saying that when the shots rang, that they all got everybody ducked and they all started ducking, but then they saw the shots just kept coming. So people got up and started running and they said that people were like getting hit or whatever. So it was just crazy. It was insane out here. I'm sure you guys even have a lot more, um, I'm sure you guys have a lot more sent. Um, Amelia saying that it was going on for multiple minutes. Yeah, the the the, the, inf the information that we got was that it sounded like just spraying for multiple minutes. You guys, that was the information we got. I don't know how true that is, but that's from people that were there. So obviously, there might be videos or something, whatever. But from people that were there, they they told us that it went on like that for minutes, and they said it was like hundreds of people hit. 
I wanted to go down there, but my film crew stopped me. I wanted to grab the camera. I wanted to go down there. They told me I'm crazy. Yes, I know I'm crazy. I just wanted to see it. The concert, we have some of, some of, so what happened was after the Thrive event, when I got done speaking, uh, Elena Cardone spoke, then I spoke, then Grant Cardone spoke, then Cole Hatter spoke. So all of us like spoke. And then after we got done speaking, uh, we all went and had like steak dinner. And then after steak dinner, everybody headed to the Mandalay Bay, right, right over there, you guys. Everybody head, headed there to the Mandalay Bay. For whatever reason, I chose to stay behind. And then what happened was cops started coming everywhere. We started checking in. We started finding out. I wanted to go down there, but people said it wasn't safe. So instead, I came up here to the rooftop. First, I found out what was going on. We got all of our information together. Danny J talked to some people that were like, um, that were there at the concert. And they were just saying that like, a lot of people got hit. So I don't know what the news is going to say, but that a lot of people got hit. Um, and you know, the cops have been going off, like literally sirens, sirens have been going off. It's literally like just everywhere. I mean, look, it's just everywhere right around us. It's just literally just nonstop here. And just right, right underneath us. It's just been ambulances nonstop. It's just crazy. It's all around us. Ambulance is there. Ambulance is there cop cars there i mean it's just it's just been non-stop over here it's just okay um danielle's saying there's a lot of photos on twitter of bodies on the ground this is going to devastate vegas I've been looking on twitter. crazy um so so listen here's the deal the whole crew that's there they they are shooting some video footage they got footage from inside i you guys i'm not there i'm so just to be clear i'm safe i'm on the rooftop of a neighboring hotel in a safe like little vantage spot. I wanted to go somewhere safe that I could come and I could share with you guys what's going on. So direct from the source, we have a whole group of people, Grant Cardone, Elena Cole Cardone, Cole Hatter, a bunch of a bunch of people. They're all there at the Mandalay Bay right now. They got put on lockdown. So first they got moved to a room. They all got put in private in the room. Then from there, they all the um the SWAT team went ahead and moved them down to um like an underground place at the same hotel. Jeez, this is just non-stop. This is just constantly non-stop over here, you guys. Just been ambulances non-stop. Like they're probably bringing in like as many as they can. And we're blocks and blocks and blocks away, you guys. It's just been non-stop this whole time. So it just, it's just non-stop. Like they're coming in from every street, ambulances, and they just keep sending them over there. It's just like non-stop and it's all over there. And yeah, people are reporting that the scene is a lot more calm now, but that's only because there's hundreds of cops. There's still like literally, everybody's freaking out. And from what we were told, they haven't even let them out of the hotel yet. So what they did was they started evacuating hotels. They brought the crew down to an underground location. Do you hear that again? What is all those, there's like, I'm not sure what these big banging sounds are. I don't see any fireworks or anything. I know, look, more ambulances there, more ambulances there. That's just crazy, it's just non-stop. I, I can't even show you them all, it's every... An hour and a half. Yeah, it's been like an hour and a half and, and ambulances, ambulances haven't stopped once, you guys. It's like, literally, it's been going on and going on and we're sitting up here blocks and blocks away. There's another ambulance right there. There's literally like, I mean, there's like probably hundreds of ambulances. So I don't know how crazy this thing is gonna be. There is no doubt that Vegas is gonna be shook up by this, you guys. Um, let's see, uh, death, death and injury numbers are only coming in from the hospital. Crazy. Let's see. Tina shut down, the freeway shut down. I'm trying to watch Twitter. Okay, Heather's saying this is her latest update. Ryan Green and I have been hiding in the MGM for over an hour. At first we were on high alert and we're hiding in employee areas. Now we're in the main lobby restaurant with other people, close to an exit door if we have to run again. We have no access to the news, except for through Mackenzie Harvey. Please pray for us. This is terrifying. Ty, I'm pretty sure Ty, you guys are asking about Ty Lopez. I think he flew back this morning. Um, Robert Blakely says they're in an underground gym. So Robert Blakely says they're there to underground gym. Um, Let's see, I don't know what else you got. You guys are filling me in a lot. Okay, let's see what else. All the news is conflicting. Okay, listen, you guys, I don't, here's, here's, the, here's the details. I don't know what the news is gonna tell you guys, but 
for our friends that were there at the concert. Okay, the people that were there at the, um, actually at the Mandalay Bay, they have a different, a whole different experience. They basically said SWAT team came in, put the room on lockdown, they moved them down to an underground gym. But the people that we got information from at the concert said that was another story. That was crazy. They said Jason Aldean was going to come out for his final act, and then they started hearing this pop, 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 and then they got down in army crawls, and they literally started like crawling around crazy army style, and then they said like, next thing you know, it didn't stop. It was like the whole time and they said that it went on for like minutes and they said looking around that there was blood there was bodies and then they, the girl that gave the information was getting hit with shrapnel i did record um a little bit of that conversation i thought to myself danny jay was talking to a friend i recorded as much as i could trying to get some information to you guys a lot because because what happened was my phone was getting blown up i got like over a hundred text messages everybody's asking if i'm safe yeah like um Yes, it's likely, so yes, you guys, I hate to say it, it's likely far worse than the news is reporting. The hospital now is at capacity and they're no longer accepting non-life-threatening. The, the, the hospital is at capacity right now, you guys. Like, we're just getting information right now. So we've got our text message coming in. I've got a light here, I'm on the roof, I'm safe over here. The, 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 the devastating part were the people that were at the Jason Aldean concert. And I'm a fan of Jason Aldean um, and Big and Rich were there. And Jason Aldean um, is coming out to uh, Corey saying over 20 fatalities. You guys, I think it's way, I think it's way more than that. You guys, it was like that we got information from people firsthand. I don't know. I don't know where everybody's getting their information. We got information from people that were at the front row of the concert and they said that automatic weapon bullets were being sprayed from some sort of like a rooftop location into the crowd. They said it was crazy. They said it was like there was nowhere to run. So people were running and getting hit. So this was at a concert. What's going on? Are they blocking off? More, more ambulances. This is the ambulances have not even stopped. So they just blocked that whole road and sent the ambulance over there. The ambulances for the last hour and a half have all been have all been going. And this is blocks away. I can't even get clear. This is blocks away, you guys. And they just keep coming, keep coming. They got more over there. They got more over here. They got uh, hundreds over here. So the, the big thing is the ambulances. And they said that the hospital is already at max capacity. So, and the, and the, the ambulances are still showing up at the scene. They're getting, I don't think they even have enough ambulances. This is one of those situations that might like literally uh, devastate. And obviously I don't know anything about who the shooters were, how many there were, anything like that. But I'll tell you, this might be something that's like, we're likely gonna see this on the news for weeks. Um, Gavin is ask, uh, asking, any news on Grant Cardone? Yes, we have a line right here to Grant Cardone and the guys. We've been checking in with them frequently and they're good. And I told them, I said, can you guys start posting to um, so let us know if, if, of any updates. So they're gonna give us updates, you guys. Uh, Grant is okay, Cole Hatter's okay, Kevin Harrington's okay, um, Elena, all of them, they're okay. We were supposed to be with them. We stayed back. A few of us stayed back. We had a late steak dinner. We stayed back and we said, you know what? Let's skip the mastermind. So that's why we're over here and they're all over there. Um, it's crazy. Uh, fill us in with information. If anybody here is part of the Thrive Conference that we were at, that's the Thrive VIP event is actually across at the Mandalay Bay right now. They're still all on lockdown. Their SWAT is over there. They're on lockdown. Um, Da, 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 da. Some people are watching police scanner. Dan Daniel Del Carlos on the SWAT scanner. They found an ID wallet. Room 135, floor 32. Home address is Mesquite, Vegas. Um, uh, people, if anybody's asking me questions about the details, I don't know. Here's what happened. This hotel right here. <clears throat> this hotel right here is where my crew is. So I just got done speaking at the Thrive Conference with Grant Cardone. Uh, Elena Cardone, Elena spoke, then I spoke, then Grant sp spoke, then Cole Hatter spoke, and then they all went here, and I was supposed to go with them, and I did it. They're all there inside that building, and at first they were on lockdown inside of a floor, and then what happened is SWAT team brought them down. So Cole was feeding me information. I have a few other people there that are that are filming to be able to um, make sure to get information to me tomorrow. So the um, the crazy uh, Ro Rolando, I don't know how accurate this is, but Rolando says. Dan Bilzerian was on stage when it started. People were running everywhere. Um, the hotel instructed for people to lay on the ground. Yeah. Um, one shooter down, they believe there aren't any more. They said two dead, 20. So listen, you guys, Jason Aldean was singing. Yeah, they, they, the, the people that we talked to said Jason Aldean was coming out. Look, still, like, like, look at this, just nonstop. 
If you guys have been on this live stream with me this whole time, this has been nonstop the whole time we're here. Just nonstop ambulances. They just keep, and we're, we're on, look at how far away we are from it. We're way over here. And there's just been sirens nonstop and ambulances nonstop. They've not stopped. They even pulled them into this place. So, uh, yeah, Kevin says, I'm afraid to see the aftermath of this. That's exactly from the, from the source that we got. Jeez, it's just nonstop. From the source that we got, look at this. Like, it, I can't even go in it. I can't even go like 30 seconds without more coming down the street. Like, it's just been nonstop up and down the street. They're going there. They're grabbing people and they're taking them back. It's just all they're doing is making runs. They're, they're grabbing people. They filled up one hospital and they, they're, they're taking them somewhere else now. I think that's why they're bringing them down this street because the other streets are too packed. And they're basically, look at how empty this street is. This is a major street right here on a major weekend night and it's just dead. It's just empty. Mostly all cops and ambulances and letting a few people through. So from the source that we have, they're saying that this is going to be, they're saying like I was asking them, we were asking them like, what, how, what do you think it is? And they're saying, they think, oh my God, like literally just coming from all angles. Crazy. Look at this. You can't even go a second. I'll narrate while I'm showing you guys what this is in case we see something. But just like from all angles. It's just crazy. Sirens everywhere. Ambulances, ambulances. They're just everywhere. They're just pulling people in, you guys. Look, another one right here. As fast, as fast as they can, they're just pulling people in, left and right, grabbing people and taking them to hospitals. They're just everywhere. And this is like an hour later. And it's just, it's just nonstop. I mean, look at this, just everywhere. It's just constant. So they're literally. Are you on IG Live or Facebook Live? I'm on Facebook Live. So they're literally just like, look at this. They just, it's just nonstop. So they're literally just pulling people out of here to hospitals. And look, we don't have official news up here on this rooftop, but they're saying from the, from the source that we have at the concert, they're saying that it's likely like, like hundreds dead or over a hundred dead. So the news is probably reporting like two, the news might be reporting like two or 10 or 20 or something like that. But it's likely like hundreds dead, you guys. And since we've been here on this rooftop, we've seen just, there's just like nonstop um, ambulances. Just nonstop. It just keeps coming, like literally just right here. It's just, they don't stop. They're bringing them in, they're bringing them out. They're bringing them in, they're bringing them out. And it's been going on like this. It's literally been going on like this for a long time, you guys. So the we're waiting right now because our friends are there in the Mandalay Bay right now in an underground gym. The SWAT team brought them down there. We're waiting to make sure everybody there is okay. They, they, there was some type of a bomb threat, which is why they started getting a little bit nervous and a little bit worried. And I think that's why they didn't let them out. And I think also they didn't know if there was like a second shooter or what was going on. So we're safe. We're up um, on a rooftop over here. And um, I got together with Danny J. She, she talked to somebody that basically, she got on the phone instantly started finding out from people that were at the concert that they said that literally they're, so here's words from people that were at the concert. They said it sounded like brrrr, like that for like what felt like minutes. And they said that it was spraying all over the crowd. And they were in the front row. Jason Aldean was like coming out to do like kind of like a final performance or something like that. And they said that they just started spraying the audience. And they said that it was coming from like above. And they said the audience was spraying and the people were laying down the ground. And then people got up and started running. I, we haven't even had a chance to really see the news. We only briefly turned it on. We decided to come out here because they were saying there's like bomb threats. And we're like, we want to come out here and see the actual action. We're right next to it. So let me know. Um, Matthew's saying two so far. There's Matthew. There's like, there's no way. There's, I mean, you guys look. Not, a, not to be a bad bear of bad news, but I mean, the, hundreds the hospital, of ambulances. The hospital's full. They're not taking people who don't have light threatening. So there are obviously a lot of people who are seriously injured, like light threatening. She, she said they're, they're not, the hospitals aren't even accepting people that don't have life threatening. The hospitals are full and they're not even accepting people unless it's a life threatening thing. And I'm telling you guys, regardless what the news is telling you, we have a bird's eye view right here. Hundreds of ambulances it's and hospitals are filling. This is, this is likely, 
this is likely way worse. And we can see right here from where we are, we can see this corner, this corner, this corner, this corner, this corner. This corner. Ambulances everywhere. It's one o'clock. This happened at like ten thirty, so it's been going on for two hours nonstop. Yeah, this is like two hours later, and the ambulances are still just constantly making runs, pulling people out of there. So I don't know. I mean, we're just watching. Like, there's more ambulances just wa right now as we're seeing. We're just watching more ambulances go. They're literally just sending ambulances in and pulling people out. This. I don't want to get too scared. I don't want to make like put any kind of fa false information out there at all. That's not my role, but. It could be as many as like hundreds of people dead. This was this was like machine gun style spray. Let's see. This was like, sorry guys, I had trouble connecting there. This is like machine gun style spraying into an audience at a country music festival. And we had people there that were texting us and telling us that like there's blood everywhere and there's bodies. Like, look, people that were there at the country concert are saying that there's bodies on the ground. So. I don't know what the news is saying, but this is like intense. I tried to go over there. Everybody stopped me. You guys know me. I'm, I'm down. I'm down for action. Uh, so you guys know that like um, Steve Stepanek said one guy that was that was there said he seen a girl's brains shot right by him. Jeez. Um, but like Chris saying, the death toll will get more higher. It's it, look, look, the reality is this, is that the hospital is not accepting anybody that doesn't have a life-threatening injury. The hospital's already full. Ambulances have not stopped, and it's been like two hours. Look, there's more ambulances. They're just non-stop. There's another one. Look, it's like hundreds of ambulances, you guys. This is like crazy. It's like constantly, almost like they're running out of ambulances or have been run out. They're just constantly shuffling ambulances in there and pulling them out. Ambulances in, and then they block off the street, they send more ambulances in, then they let the cars go through. So we're watching it from a bird's eye perspective. You can see the perspective I have right here. So as you guys can see, like we have this whole perspective of the entire strip right here. So you guys can see this, this perspective that we have. And this right here is where our friends are. Our friends are right there in the underground at the Mandalay Bay is where we were supposed to be. We just didn't go. The Mandalay Bay, um, so this is where we're supposed to be and they got them all done. Up. So, okay, like the reality is, I don't know what the news is saying because we're not watching the news. We've been on with you guys. But from the people that, are, that were there at the concert, this very likely could be hundreds of people dead. And there's like, like people even here in the comments um, are saying it's great, crazy. I wanted to, um, um, Steve says they have video on Twitter and it's bad. I wanted to go down there to the scene and, and honestly, everybody stopped me. Like they wouldn't even give me my cameras, which is why I'm on my phone. I don't know. I like what I would have been like a reporter in a past life or something. I, when stuff like this goes on, I want to get up close and find out what's happening. And I want to let people know. I want to find out if people are safe. I'm drawn into the action. I want to see what's happening. I want to know, but you know what? Just let you guys know we're here on a rooftop. We're safe. So this is the, um, here, get old for a second. I want to be able to show and tell me if anything else comes in. So we're up here on this rooftop and this right here is where all the action is. The Mandalay Bay right here. That's where we're supposed to be at a VIP after party that wasn't there. Um, the, the news, Lori saying the news says two dead, 21 injured. Lori, I can assure you it's got to be much, much, much worse than that. Two dead, 21 injured. We've just, even right now in the background, it's nonstop ambulances. There's another ambulance driving through. I mean, it's just nonstop. I mean, I could literally just turn the camera around and just show you ambulance after ambulance. I mean, look, like, no matter when I turn, like, ambulance after ambulance after ambulance, they just keep shuffling them in. That's an ambulance right there. Uh, they just keep, I mean, you can't see, I'm probably too zoomed out. They just keep shuffling them in. It's just nonstop. It's not stopped even once since we've been here. So, if the news that there's only two people dead, my guess is that they're only reporting what the hospital is telling them. And also my guess is that the, the information we have is that the hospital's full. We're seeing hundreds and hundreds of ambulances up here. We were supposed to be there, you guys. We decided at the last minute not to go. We just had a steak dinner. We were tired. I haven't been sleeping much. I spoke today at the conference. I'm only on a few hours sleep. We said, you know what, let's not go but all of our crew is there. Elena Cardone spoke on stage, then I went on and spoke on stage, then Grant Cardone, then Cole Hatter, and then they invited us over there. We were even uh, RSVP'd, they invited us over there, we just decided last minute not to go. And then this happens, and they're, as far as we know, they're still locked down there in the underground. Um, in the underground. Michael says you were supposed to be there too. 
Uh, yeah, as far as guns, I have no idea what kind of guns. This is the, the, the description that we got from the people that were front stage of the concert said it sounded like this. Like that kind of a spray. Um, so definitely automatic weapons for sure, without a doubt. It wasn't like pop, pop, pop. It was like and they said it was spraying all over the... What is this loud sound? You guys, just massive loud sounds. I don't know if anybody else in Vegas... Hey, if anybody's here in Vegas, can you tell us? Let me see if I can just... If anybody's here in Vegas, can you tell us what these loud sounds are that are coming from over here? It's like the fifth time we've heard these massive loud yeah. thumping sounds coming from this direction. Right, you just heard that, yeah, right? Yeah. I'm not hearing things. I feel like who, who can tell me what that is, you guys? Can anybody tell me what those massive thumping loud sounds are? I know, it's like the sirens have it nonstop, but what, can anybody tell me in the comments, what are those loud sounds, the big thumping sounds that we hear coming from over there? Dominic says these guys were either military or terrorist. Fox News is saying two dead, 24 injured. No, 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 it's gonna be, it's gonna be way worse than that. Look, we haven't even, we haven't even, we haven't even gone even like, we haven't gone like even a couple, a couple minutes we haven't even gone, I don't know, a minute without an ambulance going by. So how many hours has this been going on? Like two hours and a half. Like two and a half hours and ambulances are still constant. This has been hundreds of ambulances, you guys, hundreds. I don't know how crazy this is. We have friends at the concert, um, friends that checked in with me. Brick says it sounds like M80 Dynamites. That's exactly, it's some sort of sound like that. But why, why would there be M80 Dynamite sounds? I don't get it. So I'm out here filming at least until the battery dies, you guys, but I don't know why there's, I don't know, I don't know why there's these big, massive sounds that sound like these big M80 type sounds coming from over there. That's what got, that's what has me out here wondering and just being a little bit cautious. That's why we're up in the secured location. Look, we're right here and I want to show you guys, what, look, the parking lot right here is all wide open, you guys. So we are safe up here. And this so right here is taking safe. people, they're getting buses on the strip and taking them to the Thomas and Mac to get them away from the strip. Okay, so where are they taking, so. That okay, so that's like what, like the sixth or seventh yeah. time? For the sixth or seventh time, we've heard this big, loud, like, like a thumping, uh, like a thumping noise or yeah. something like that. Sure. So what is, what, what were you saying? Uh, they're t sending buses to ship people to the Thomas and Mac to get them away from the strip. Okay, so they're, they're sending buses. Right now, they're sending buses and the Thomas and to send like a people away from the center. strip. They're yeah. sending people to an event center. They're sending people to a big event center right now. They're shipping them off in buses to a big event center to take them away from the strip. For those that are saying that are two are confirmed dead, you guys, we have, we have people there at the concert that saw more than that. Like, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad for sure. People are checking in with us. People have been texting me. Look, in the background, I see one, two two three three ambulances still rushing over there and since we've been out here i want to say we've seen probably at least 50 60. there's got to be so that means like there's got to be have been hundreds of ambulances hundreds of ambulances um out here you guys hundreds so so listen um we're gonna hang out here for a little bit longer either until the battery dies or whatever but we keep hearing these big massive thumping sounds right outside the mandalay bay there's been six or seven of them over and over and over and our friends are still in lockdown under there if you guys are getting if you guys are um so the thompson mac is a event center by unlv and their mccarran rent a car is getting shuttles and buses they're taking people like um tourists who are stranded for shelter because they can't go back to their hotels Crazy. So they might be spending the night in the Thomas and Mac. So they got the Thomas and Mac Center. Look, another ambulance and then another one. Shoot. So listen, as crazy, like, I don't know, like, just, I wanted to give you guys a different perspective. There's probably a lot going on on the, on the internet right now, but there's hundreds of ambulances, you guys. No matter what they're saying on news right now, there's hundreds of ambulances. I don't know what those sounds are. Flash grenades, flash grenades, police are clearing rooms. It might be flash grenades. I don't I don't know what the police are trying to do. They might be trying to um Thank you, Chris. He's still active on the police uh police scanner. You guys, it's it's like look, I'll show you a little bit more. The uh well I'll show you actually when these when these ambulances come back, but they're literally you guys listen, listen. Literally they brought the SWAT team, brought them down to the underground gym. They were like on the ground. 
they this is one of those crazy situations where we were supposed to be there literally um danny jay's rs beat i was with the speakers right there that was the speakers after party they wanted me to go there they asked me to go there and i just felt like staying behind you guys as crazy as that is i just felt like staying behind it's one of those times where it's like you never know why things happen now i'm on my phone um live streaming my phone's all cracked so the signal's not the, obviously the image is not gonna be that great but literally that's right there is where all my friends are Grant Cardone was just, uh, he was there, he had he had like this little meetup, Cole Hatter's there, Kevin Harrington from Shark Tank, Elena Card, a bunch of people. A bunch of our friends are over there. I told them to, um, um, somebody's saying those are concussion grenades. Peter's saying if we weren't tired, we would have been there. Yeah, Peter, man. Peter, if you wanna come join me, I'm, I'm on the uh, parking lot, uh, parking garage rooftop here. You can go from the elevators inside. Uh, Peter, go over to the, where the valley is by our elevators and then go to the second um, elevators that go up to the garage. You go straight elevator to elevator. Go ask them where the elevators are. We're on the eighth floor of the parking garage if you wanna come join us. Because we wanna see what these flash grenades or whatever these things are that are all about. There's cop cars for, there's like hundreds and hundreds of cops out there. So everybody that's reporting two people dead, there's there's just no way. We have insider, inf we have people that were at the concert that said that there was like bodies everywhere. Let's see. Peter, come join us, dude. Peter. Peter, come join us, brother. I was I was just in my room right there, and, and we could see way better from out here. Peter, go to the eighth floor of the parking garage right next to the Hard Rock. Come on up here with us. Come join us. Okay, so listen, you guys. I'm just here to tell you guys from the infant. We, we, we talked to people that were there at the concert, and I'm just letting you guys know um, the news is not, I don't think we're going to hear any information until tomorrow. I don't think that we're really going to get reports on this, you guys, until like 5, 6, 7 a.m., 9 a.m. And my guess is that the police are going to come out and say that there was a massive amount of casualties, a massive amount of injuries. Listen, the, the, how crazy is the hospitals full? There have been nonstop ambulances for over two and a half hours or however long it's been pulling people out of there and they haven't stopped yet. They keep shutting down the street to get to get ambulances through. So nonstop, you guys, just absolutely nonstop. Um, why would they send hundreds of ambulances, you guys? It's it's insane. They don't have room at the hospital. The hospital is only admitting people with life threatening. They're turning down people that have just been injured that that aren't life threatening. They're only accepting people life threatening. It's crazy. It's crazy. So no matter what the news is actually reporting, it's 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 way bigger than that. Don't worry about what the news is saying, you guys. It's we're we're here. We talked to people that were in the front row of the concert. Jason Aldean was coming off for his last song. They heard popping going on, and so then they thought that it was fake. And then they then they started to see like bullets bouncing or whatever. So they got down into an army crawl, and they got down to the army crawl. Then after that, they went around the side of the stage, and they said that there was nowhere to go. They said there was absolutely nowhere to go. So that you people were getting up and running, but there was nowhere to run. And you're you're basically I recorded some of the conversation, you guys. Um, Barriers were used as stretchers by people helping people. Yeah, they were literally like putting down barriers and putting people on the barriers and, and using them as stretchers to pick and pull people out of there. This is way more intense than the news is saying. And for whatever reason, the news is probably, listen, the news has to be super accurate. The news is gonna be afraid to say anything that's not reported. But I'm telling you right now that we have people that were at the concert that we got information from and it was devastating, you guys. Devastating. Um, Chrissy Joy Armstrong said, police scanner just said from an officer, he says there is at least 75 bodies dead on the floor. You guys, it is, I don't know if that information is right or not, but listen, all the sources we have here, it could be hundreds of dead bodies. We're right here. We've got information. We talked to people that were front row at the concert. I have friends at the concert. It was a massive country concert. I spoke at the event right next door. All of our people over at the Mandalay Bay right now in the underground um, parking lot, or the underground gym that is that's there and it's just it's just absolutely crazy i'm sure right now that um that that this is going to be news for weeks you guys we just happen to be right here i wanted to come on live and say that i'm safe i also wanted to come on live and say that we got information 
um, we got information firsthand from people that were um, literally firsthand from people that were there at the country concert. They told us what was going on. We got that information. I recorded some of the call and it was pretty crazy. Here, can you hold this? I don't know if the, they were going to get kicked out or not. So it was pretty crazy. We were going, we were just getting information from them. Wanted to bring that to you. Wanted to bring you all that information. What's going on? Yeah, you guys chill up here. It's too dangerous to be, be out there by yourself. We're good. We're all blocked up here. We this is actually the safest spot. Over all the other areas are dangerous. So we wanted to come here where it's safe. Can't, can't have you guys up here. I need you guys to head inside. But that's where it's more dangerous over there. Over here is the one safe area. Sir, well, I'm not gonna sit here and argue with you. If you can argue with me. You can go ahead and head head on out. You're kicking well, us out. If you're gonna continue arguing with me. Okay. All right, guys. He's. They don't want. They don't want you guys to get any information. They don't want us to be up here where it's safe. They want us to go back in where all the drama is. So. Thank you. That was fun. Say thanks, everybody. Yeah, no, Say thanks. Oh, well, I was filming. You're the one that came here into my film. Sir, this, you want this to <laughs> probably I can go ahead and kick you guys. It's all right. We're residents. We just came out here, man. We're not giving you a problem. <laughs> all right. He's, he's having fun. He's having fun. So he wants us to leave. So we're not going to be able to show you guys from up there. And I won't be able to show you from the hotel room, even though there's a bunch of other people all around. And all the other people are drunk and like arguing and stuff like that. We're actually just up here being safe. So we, we had the good spot and they just kicked us out. It was uh, some security on a bike came in and, and wanted to give us a hard time. Want to go elevator? Yeah. Okay. So let's see you guys. We're probably going to call it wraps. Plus my phone probably died anyways. I just wanted to stay out long enough to hear what all those thumping sounds were. I couldn't tell, but it was probably was something like flash grenades, probably clearing people out. Um, what's crazy is that they like let us come up here and then he just didn't want it. He, uh, he wants to, uh, that guy, that guy's really, that guy's really mad at me right now. He's still back there. I know, he's, there. he's back there. He's mad at me. <laughs> he, he, he wants to kick us out. Um, very, very I'm bad. Something tonight. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Um, I'm not a news reporter or anything, but, you know, I figured since I was right here and since I do have some influence, I might as well use the influence that I have to at least, um, to at least, here, I'll help you since I was, I don't want you to have to hold that. I wanted to use the influence to at least uh, bring some of the story to you guys. Uh, I'm sure I don't have all my information because I was live with you guys. You guys probably have information from the news, but I didn't want you guys to um, have to rely on the news to get information when we have people that were giving information straight from the concert. And it's it's probably a lot crazier um, than everything. So listen, even though I was laughing over there a minute ago, obviously this is not a laughing matter. I just, uh, that guy just honestly had like a pretty weird issue with us. And uh, he's like literally ready to kick us, kick us out or do something. So we're gonna go ahead and jam. No reason to, uh, he's just over there staring at us. So anyways, it's not a laughing matter. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm probably going to lose my signal right here. Let me go ahead and wrap up. Um, you guys, don't, all I'm saying is that we have no idea what the news is going to report, uh, but we can tell you guys, it is crazy. We got firsthand information from there. We're going to go back into the hotel. Um, I do have video footage of everybody being evacuated. I have video footage of everybody being brought into an underground um, garage. So we have a bunch of video footage. I'll post, oh, hold on, hold on. I'll post all the video footage, you guys, to chrisrecord.tv tomorrow, to tomorrow's vlog. I'll upload as much footage as I have. I'll show you guys behind the scenes on tomorrow's vlog. Go to chrisrecord.tv or I'll post it here on Facebook. We have um, my friends that were inside the Mandalay Bay filmed and we'll post that. So if you guys watch, we'll post that. And it, I'm not going to post anything brutal or anything bloody, anything scary. I'm not at all going to do that. That's a little too crazy. Lighting in here is pretty bad, you guys. But, <laughs> and thanks. She actually talked to, Danny J talked to uh, somebody that was literally front row, got firsthand information to people that were front row at the concert. That was crazy. So I wanted to bring her out to be able to share and be able to make sure we had light. And um, literally tomorrow I'll put it on the vlog with the information I have. We have video of people inside the building that were at Mandalay Bay and them getting um, taken down to other rooms. So with that being said, listen, um, we'll see what happens tomorrow morning. I just want to let you guys know I'm safe. I care about each and every one of you. Um, for whatever reason, we decide not to go over there. I'm, I'm thankful, blessed. Hopefully you guys all have a blessed night. Don't listen too much to the news. You guys get some sleep. Don't stay up all night. Tomorrow we'll find out what happened and just hope for the best. With that being said, Thanks, everybody.